Hello, thank you for joining me today. So we're just going to do a few exercises, if that's all right with you. Yes. Perfect. So the first task, I'm going to read out a list of words, and I want you to listen carefully. And when I finish, just repeat back as many words as you can. And you don't have to say them in the same order as I do. Just repeat back as many words as you can remember in any order, okay? All right. Candle, sugar, wagon, hotel, farmer, village, sandwich, feather, artist, paper. Paper, artist, feather, village, hotel, candle, wagon, sugar. Okay. So I'm going to read the list again. And when I finish, repeat back as many words as you can, and even if you've already said them before, okay? All right. Candle, sugar, wagon, hotel, farmer, village, sandwich, feather, artist, paper. Paper, artist, sandwich, village, candle, wagon, farmer. Okay. So, again, I'm just going to read back those same words, and you can um, just repeat back as many as you can remember, okay? All right. Candle, sugar, wagon, hotel, Farmer, village, sandwich, feather, artist, paper. Artist, paper, wagon, hotel, candle, sugar, farmer, village. Good. And then one last time, I'm going to read back those, that same list again, and then you repeat them back to me. Candle, sugar, wagon, hotel, Farmer, village, sandwich, feather, artist, paper. Paper, village, artist, feather, candle, wagon, sugar, hotel. Good. So I'm going to read a short story. Dan. I'd like you to listen carefully. And when I'm finished, I'm going to ask you to read it back as much of the story as you can remember. And try to use the same wording as, it, as you can, okay? All right. So on Monday, March 5th, in Miami, Florida, a tidal wave hit. All through $2 million in damage was done in the waterfront. Only seven people were injured and nobody was killed. Okay. On Monday, March 5th, in Miami, Florida, a tidal wave hit there was two million dollars in damages done um, and there were no nobody was injured or hurt okay <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to read that same story back to you again. <laughs> when I'm finished, I want you to again repeat back <laughs> as much of the story as you can remember. And to re try to repeat it in the exact <laughs> way as you can. Okay. So on Monday, March 5th in Miami, <laughs> I tied a wave hat all through... Um, Two million dollars in damage was done to the waterfront. Only seven people were injured and nobody was killed. On Monday, March 5th in Miami, Florida, a tidal wave hit. Although there were no damages done, seven people were injured and nobody was killed. Okay. Oh, very good. So now I'm going to show you a figure and uh, I'm going to ask you to draw on the exact same figure. So you will be tossed for this.
perfect. So the next task. So do you see these two lines down here? Yes. Do you, um, can you match the two lines at the top? Yes. Can you tell me um, the numbers or the point of the line that they match? Yes. Okay. One and seven. Good. What about this one? Two and five. Um, four and eleven. Eight and twelve. Twelve and two. Four and eleven. Three and ten. some pictures and I just want you to tell me what you see. A pillow. Um, it's a piece of furniture. A blanket. A mushroom. And that is a plant. So it grows in the garden. <laughs> A vegetable. Iron. Barn. Anchor. Hammer. Scissors. Dice. Seaward. Perfect. Good job. Okay, so now I'd like you to tell me um, the names of all the different kinds of animals that you would find in the zoo that you could think of, and I'm going to give you one minute to come up with as many as you can. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Um, let me know when you're ready. Ready. Okay, go. Lions, tigers, bears, horses, zebras, giraffes, elephants, snakes, spiders, fish, birds, seagulls, hippopotamus, deer, Orangutan, lion, monkeys, um, flamingos. Okay, you can start. 
Okay, so now I'm going to say some numbers and I want you to repeat them after me, okay? Alright. Nine and four. Nine, four. Five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. Four, or, sorry. Six, four, two, seven. Six, four, two, seven. Four, two, nine, three, five. Four, two, nine, three, five. Five, three, nine, two, four, six. Five, three, nine, two, four, six. Six, three, nine, five, one, eight, two. Six, three, nine, and five. One eight three nine two. Well, um, three one seven eight two nine five four six. Three one seven eight nine four five six. So now this task is. So if you look at these boxes, each one of these. Um, there is a number that goes with it, and um, down here there are marks, <laughs> so but no numbers. So I want you to fill in the numbers that go with the marks. So I'm going to demonstrate some, and then I'm going to have you um, just um, stop at the double lines. Okay. And you can start. And then I'm going to, um, no, you can just keep going. <laughs> just stop when you get to the double lines. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you to continue to fill out the numbers that match the marks. Go as quickly as you can without skipping any. And when you reach the end of the line, then go to the next one. Are you ready? Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, do you remember um, that list of words that I read to you in the beginning? Yes. So, I'm going to um, ask you to tell me as many of those words as you can remember now, okay? All right. Okay, go ahead. Artist, candle, sugar, wagon, village, hotel, paper. Good. So now I'm going to read um, to you some words. Some of these words were on the list and some were not. So you can tell me which words were on the list. So was candle on the list? Yes. Was metal on the list? No. Was farmer on the list? Yes. Was paper on the list? Yes. Was um, purple on the list? No. Was... Season on the list? No. Was building on the list? No. Was wagon on the list? Yes. Was mirror on the list? No. Was sugar on the list? Yes. Was hotel on the list? Yes. Was people on the list? No. Was artist on the list? Yes. Was party on the list? No. Was castle on the list? No. Was sandwich on the list? Yes. Was feather on the list? Yes. Summer on the list? No. Village on the list? Yes. Insect on the list? No. So, do you remember that story about the tidal wave that I read to you earlier? Yes. Can you tell me as many details as you, as you can remember from that story? On Monday, March 4th, in Miami, Florida, a tidal wave hit. Although two million in damages were done, nobody was only seven people were injured and nobody was hurt okay good so do you remember that finger that i showed you in the beginning yes so i'm gonna um, give you a sheet of paper and i'm just gonna have you draw <laughs> that um i'm just gonna have you 
all that okay. picture as much as you can remember. And let me know when you start. I'm starting. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, that is the end of our session. So I appreciate your participation. Thank you.